everyone! My name is Christiana and today I'm here with Olivia who is a singer, songwriter, and she's a writer in general which is amazing and um, I first want to introduce myself. I started me Teenage Mental Love because I realized how important mental health is in society today with all age groups and I feel like it really needs to be t uh, spoken about and people really need to you know engage more into mental health and learning about it and I think it's wonderful you know to see people of all ages and groups, you know, just coming and speaking about mental health. So again, I'm here with Olivia and we're going to be talking all about her journey, her music, singing, everything, and her projects and mental health. And I really hope you guys enjoy this interview and I will link all of her social media down below. So firstly, Olivia, I wanted to ask you, this is kind of like a generic question, but what is your main goal in life? Well, I really like music, mm -hmm. and I really like inspiring people, and I really just want to bring out a good message to people and yeah. the younger ones in the future, and I really hope I can keep doing my career and try to get something out of it and like cool. teach the younger ones and maybe even older ones yeah. some messages like, you know, never to bully or hurt anybody and just keep going for your dreams and reaching out. Yeah, and that's absolutely amazing, and I love that so much. And I wanted to say, um, you know, when did you, uh, you said you wanted to, like, inspire people and encourage people. When did you uh, start writing and, like, song, uh, making songs and singing? Ooh, that's a good question. <laughs> uh, it kind of all started because I had, like, many phases. I wanted to do gymnastics. I wanted yeah. to do swimming, and mm -hmm. I didn't really know what I wanted to do yet, but... Yeah. Now I got more into it and stuff, and I kind of like, I'm kind of like into a lot of music, and I like writing and yeah. all this kind of stuff, wow. and it's, it really helps me, because music, I always listen to music, whatever mood I am, sad, yeah. happy, or even angry, it yeah. just really helps, and I hope to put out, I hope to put on music, or just even my writings out there, so maybe if somebody's feeling sad or happy, they can like, listen or just like you get it like yeah. try to like you know vibe with the stuff i'm putting out and definitely yeah of course and i love that so much and you know um i wanted to say you know since you want to inspire people uh is there anyone in music specifically too that inspires you oh yeah i have a lot of people oh. i look up to a lot of people yeah and one person i look up to a lot is Ariana Grande because mm -hmm. yeah. she's actually the kind of the person who I kind of find my style from because yeah. I really like singing high stuff, high notes and mm -hmm. this kind of stuff. Her songs are more pop and stuff. Of course. And also I have another, I also like acting. So mm -hmm. an actor that inspires me is Tom Felton. He plays Draco Malfoy from yeah. Harry Potter. Yeah. But yeah. Hopefully, I can like, try to do something similar okay. to them and kind of go get my career path going. Yes, definitely. And that's absolutely amazing, you know, especially starting from a young age. I know, like, uh, Ariana Grande, you know, since she's your inspiration uh, for music, um, she started at such a young age, you know, singing the national anthem at games, and that is absolutely amazing. And, you know, uh, she's become like she's become so successful and that is so wonderful and I wanted to also say you know do you have any like future or any upcoming things that you're going to be doing with music and uh, any upcoming projects too yes so um one upcoming thing I'm there's this song called Earth by Little Vicky and I have a bunch of singers and all these kind of people we're making a collab for a clean kids version, so mm. yeah. a message about the earth and especially, you know, about the wildfires and yeah. all these kind of things that are happening right now, the corona, and of course. hopefully we can, like, we're changing up the lyrics a bit, not too much, because we don't want to make it, a, it's obviously a cover, but mm, definitely. Uh, hopefully we can, like, put out a message right now for kids, too, and that's something that's coming up soon. Oh, wow. Hopefully you guys can stay tuned. Yeah. Enjoy the little video we're making. Yes, and I love that so much. And um, that's really wonderful, again, that you're collabing with people at such, like, 
That's so cool. And also, when you uh, make these collaborations, are they like with like internet friends and like people who you meet and like who are also passionate about singing and songwriting? Uh, yes, because mm -hmm. I honestly, I recently moved, so I don't really have a lot of friends because I was only at this school for a month, and I I didn't really get close, too close to anybody yet. Yeah, exactly. But I have these internet friends who are really lovely and stuff. I still mm -hmm. stay connected with old people and my old friends, but it's really nice because I love um, people who have a similar passion to me. Yeah. And we love sharing things and these kind of stuff, so I, I'm really grateful for the friends I have, and hopefully one day I can, like, meet them all, but, you know, it's going to be some, it's going to be hard since we're all spread it out, and some are from the UK and stuff, wow. but yeah. I really hope someday. Of course, and I want to also say, you know, with those friends that you have, is there any time, like, when you're going through a hard day or something that they're there for you, or any special friends that you have? Uh, yes, I have there's a bunch of people, and obviously I'm, I'm closer, to, closer to some people, mm -hmm. and I'm really grateful, so I'll, I don't know if I should mention their names or not, but I yeah, think they're okay with it. I have this friend named Ella. She's mm -hmm. currently an ambassador, and she does these kind of things. Mm -hmm. I'm also friends with this girl called Layla. She's super sweet. Mm -hmm. She always there for me, and she she's really caring. And then there's also Megan. Mm -hmm. Megan, she's amazing. She's really sweet. She like, like today I had a really big test and she's like I was all nervous and she's like all calming down with us and it's really nice to have these friends and I have one more, somebody really big, who always put a smile to my face. Ever since I moved, I before I even met my internet friends right now, I had this friend named Nora. <laughs> she always stayed up late with me and we always had these talks, we always kinda messed around and kinda FaceTime and yeah. She always made me laugh, for sure. Oh, that's absolutely, again, so wonderful to have those friends uh, by your side because a lot of people, you know, don't. And it makes things so, so much harder. And they don't have family either. And I want to say, do you, is your family, like, supportive of your music and your passion and your goals that you want to accomplish? Yes. My mom's always really there for me. She's always, like... She always been there. She knows I really love music and stuff. And yeah. also, my dad loves my um, prayer too. So obviously, he teases me because he, you know, right now because yeah. he's obviously joking around. Yeah. <laughs> but they're really supportive, and they're trying to like give me these classes and stuff to teach me. And uh, yeah, I'm really grateful for supportive parents, and mm -hmm. they can help me like build up my career more. Because like you know, some kids are not allowed to have social media either, so it's kind of like. Yeah. Part, so I'm really thankful they can let me do my stuff and I'm able to post on the internet. <laughs> Definitely. Definitely. And that is so, so true. And, you know, kind of speaking about the internet, do you believe that sometimes social media can be a toxic environment? And, like, how do you manage if you believe that it's toxic? Oh, toxic. I've been there because there's a lot of people who just... Sometimes they don't really feel themselves. And I know a person who turned out bad, but I saw a good person in them. So mm -hmm. so there is a lot of toxic people out there, but, you know, sometimes they can be hurting, so they can't really know what they're doing. Yeah. They can be like, yeah, they can be really hurtful at times, but you never know because they can be hurting at the same time and they might not know they're doing it back to you. And how I kind of cope with it was I just kind of, like, you know, ignore them. And cause my friends, again, are always there, and they're, like, ignore them because, you know, haters are going to come by and there. But, <laughs> you know, I just got to, like, not listen to them and, like, keep doing what you love. Don't let them bring you down because that – it happens to me a lot because if I get, like, a hate comment, it, it just ruin, ruins my whole mood. But that shouldn't – you should never be – sad about a little hate comment because they probably mean it don't really mean it at all they just have nothing better to do with their time and course, my kids are just ignore them and keep moving on definitely and I love that so much and you know it's so hard for a lot of people to just ignore it and the fact that you can do that is absolutely amazing and I completely understand people who cannot ignore it because that makes sense you know it does does sometimes hurt someone it hurts your feelings you know and it can be really hard but 
that is so wonderful that you pushed through it. And, you know, uh, speaking about hate comments and like mental health, I wanted to ask you, what is your experience with mental health? And when did like you realize that mental health was really impacting you? Ooh, okay. Mental health. So it's been impacting me since I was a little girl because honestly, this is kind of weird to say, but I had a worse elementary experience. People always bullied me because of my eyebrows. They were a little bit um, bushier than others, and they just, they just mess, made fun of me like a lot. So, But in middle school, obviously, we still have some kids teasing, but I like middle school more so far. Mm, but basically, with mental health, I started hearing it, about it on your page, and mm -hmm. I thought it was really sweet because mental health, it kind of, you know, you, try, you tell stories about how you cope and stuff. Mm -hmm. And I find it really nice yeah. how your page is like that, too, and I find that really inspiring. Thank you so much. Yeah. Basically, how I kind of, like, cope is listen to music, talk to my friends, and I really hope somebody, anybody out there can, like, be happy, too, and find something you love and, you know, keep going, and that's what I say for mental health. Nobody should really be sad. You always have to put a smile to your face. and Definitely. You know, you got to keep going because I know sometimes it can be hard, but yeah. you're always going to make it. Everybody's going to make it true. Everybody. Definitely. I mean, like, everybody. Yeah. I know everybody has the potential. Mm -hmm. Nobody has no potential. Yeah, of course. And uh, what you said that made me so, so happy. You know, I love that everyone will make it through and everyone does have the potential. And um, I'm so, so happy that you felt that way about my page because that's literally, you know, what I intend. Like, you know, some days are, you know, really hard or really rough and just stay strong because honestly, you know, it can be extremely hard, but it's always good to push through because when you look back at your life, you're like, wow, look what I accomplished and look what I pushed through. And I love what you said. That's so amazing. And also, um, you said that, like, you know, uh, you were bullied in elementary school, so it was a little bit harder for you. And um, I'm so sorry that you ha that, that happened to you. That's, genu that's not fair at all. And, you know, it kind of surprises me that, uh, you know, bullying is still even a thing because I thought, I thought we grew out of that. Like, it's so, it's so silly to even do something like that. And I wanted to ask you, you know, how uh, do you, when you were in elementary school, how did you, like, push through? What did you tell yourself to, like, stay strong? Oh, wow. Uh, it was really hard. But what I did is I always, this is kind of when I started getting a platform and I started kind of, like, connecting more with the Internet, social media. I loved it, and I started talking to people. I started joining group chats and this kind of stuff. Now, though school was bad, you know, I just really just try to focus on my grades because, you know, grades are really important because I just try to ignore the bullies and stuff because I was at a point where I had no friends at all. Mm -hmm. And nobody wanted to be my friend. They always thought I was this bad monster. Oh, wow. It's a long story, but oh, I just, you know, ignored it. And although I was sad, sometimes I had nobody mm -hmm. at all. I just try to focus on my grades and... I just kind of lean to the internet and mm -hmm. watch YouTube videos and a lot of inspiring people who inspire me right now. Of course. And who I am right now. Yeah, and that's amazing. And your story is really inspiring too because you're still so young and going through something like that is really, uh, you know, impacting and I love your story and I wanted to say you know is social media and like music and writing an outlet for you? Does it put you in a happy place? Very much. It's something mm -hmm. I always go to, and mm -hmm. I really love that. And it's something I hope I can forever work on, and of course. it just makes me really happy working on it. Oh, I love that. Again, I love that so much. And do you have any other outlets that, you know, you can express your time in? Because I know you said you dabbled a little in swimming, gymnastics, but do you do anything else that, you know, makes you uh, be happy, like a mental health day? Something? Ooh, uh, I like makeup a lot too. <laughs> yeah, Cause it's I'm I was like drawing since I was young, and now I'm now that I have a little bit more makeup and stuff, I like practicing on it because just like art, but like on the face. And 
I experienced bullying from getting bullied from doing makeup too, because obviously I know I was kind of bad in this when I was younger, because I didn't really know what I was doing. But now that I actually know how to do a bit more makeup, it's really nice, and I find it really fun, and it's art on the face, and that's what I find beautiful about it. Guys, you know, sometimes, or even just people in general, they don't know how long they always take to do their makeup, and they don't. I don't feel like people appreciate it enough. Because it's really art on the face. and Yeah. Okay. yeah. That's wonderful. And, you know, uh, like, you know, putting your time into that and getting better and better and better. That's literally talent. That is so true. It's art on the face. And I absolutely love what you said. That's absolutely wonderful. And also, um, you said that you sing and you songwrite, which is absolutely great. But you also do writing. And I want to say, when did ask, when did you start writing? Oh, what I mean by writing is I like writing stories or songs. Yeah. That's kind of like what I do with my writing time because mm-hmm. it's nice to write about something you don't know, like a nice sunny day or even a gloomy day. And it's kind of like when you're writing, you can just spill all your emotions in it. Of course. It can like make a song and stuff because you see a lot of artists um, make a song like when they're happy or sad, they kind of like, they get off of their life and stuff and kind of like some people just don't understand how songs are actually sometimes they can be really sad and some people really don't see the meaning but I, it's really nice to like write and put all your emotions out there and Definitely. it makes me really happy of course and again love that so much and i think that's where a lot of people you know can express themselves through their music and through um you know the words that they say and what they uh write and in addition you know uh when you are having a hard day or you're like trying to push through something uh is there anything that you do specifically that really like helps you like a lot of people have a regimen or like you know a little day that they take a break or come off of social media do you ever do something like that uh yes i do that a lot because especially my parents you know the internet can be toxic sometimes and they want me to like get off sometimes for a bit and yeah. go rest my eyes and <laughs> yeah. I, I usually well it depends now that we're on quarant that we're in quarantine there's not still a lot you can do. Yeah. Sometimes I like going hiking or even just just go outside in my backyard and mm-hmm. sing my heart out, you know. Of course. It's kinda of like something I like to do, but I do unplug a lot from the internet because mm-hmm. it can be it's good to take a break and of you know. Yeah. Of course it is, yeah. 24 hours, just a couple hours, minutes. It's wonderful. And uh, the other thing I want to say is, how, is there anything that you've ever written that was absolutely close to your heart and that's like the most influential and impactful thing you've ever wrote? Ooh. Uh, I wrote a lot. Hmm. But I feel like something that hits the hardest is hmm. my... um love or sad stories because there's a lot of gloomy days on my some days just bad days you know and I write about that and it it always touches my heart because it's like I've grown out of those bad days and there's always a new day coming and stuff and there's there's just better days because some days are good and some days are bad but it's nice to write about it and then you look back and then you realize wow it sometimes gets better and I'm really happy about that definitely of course again love that so so much and I lastly wanted to say you know you've been through so much and you've just pushed past it you're really strong you're really brave and do you have any advice for anyone you know who's watching and uh they're trying to push through the same thing you know they're being bullied or you know hate comments on the internet do you have any advice for them to just forget about it or ignore it yes what I say is, again, ignore them. That's the best thing to do. Just yeah. keep putting out what you love. Do anything you love. Mm-hmm. Just ignore the bad people because they're going to always come and go. <laughs> Sooner or later, yeah. there's going to be like a, a huge fan base that's going to love you and yeah. stuff. They're going to appreciate you because there's a lot of nice people out people out there, especially like you. Thank you. So it's <laughs> It's really nice. Yeah. So keep pushing through it and 
keep putting out what you love. That's, I know it's kind of basic what I'm saying, but it, mm-hmm. it really helps if you keep pushing through it and just ignore the people. Definitely. And I hate comments. Of course, exactly. And again, just like you said, um, even though what you said was amazing, but I know a lot of people might say, oh, you know, that's so, that's always said, or it sounds like the same thing, but that is so true, you know, and haters going to hate. And if you have haters or if you have people who are hating on you, that just shows that you're really doing something that's successful and they're just troubled by it or they're jealous. So what you said, yeah. (laughs) Yes, exactly. So what you said was right. And that is so perfect. And Thank you so much for sitting down and talking about your work and your music and everything and the people who influence or who are influential to you. And I want to say to anyone who's watching, um, Olivia's advice was absolutely wonderful. You know, stay strong and, you know, don't just haters are going to hate. Don't just let it roll off your back and just push through because we're all going to make it. And we all have the potential to. So again, thank you guys so much for watching. And thank you, Olivia, for this wonderful opportunity to speak with you. And I will link, make sure definitely to link, of course, and I will link um, all of Olivia's social media down below. And I really hope you all enjoyed it and have a wonderful day. So, (laughs) yes.